Hello everyone. Welcome to this video demonstration on Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2016. Today I am going to demonstrate how to design a profit and loss statement or balance sheet statement report using account schedules. Before starting, let's understand what is a profit and loss report. A profit and loss report is usually a report that represents the income and statement incurred during a specified period of time. For example, a financial or a fiscal year. Similarly, a balance sheet report is a report that summarizes the financial balances of assets, liabilities and equity of a company. For understanding this video, you should have a basic understanding on finance and account module in Microsoft Dynamics NME. For example, chart of accounts. Let's start with creating an account schedule. Type account schedule in the search bar. Select a proper link. Here we will create a new account schedule, say profit and loss. Enter the profit and loss in name. Enter the description as profit and loss statement. Now next is to edit this account schedule. So click on edit account schedule link from the ribbon. Enter the first line as profit and loss statement. This will be our first line of the report. Now click on insert GL accounts. Here I can select various GL accounts. We have two type of uh, accounts here. One is the income, one is the balance. For profit and loss report, we need to have only income statements account. Here I will select the headings, the end totals and the begin totals if required. So I quickly select all the end totals and headings. All the end totals should be included. Remember this is just a demo tutorial for this report. Account selection is purely random in this video. There could be more accounts that could be required for profit and loss statement. Just that's it. Click OK. When I click OK, all the accounts are now inserted in the account schedule screen. Now, if I want to keep the headings bold, italic or underline, I can select it from here. That is the bold, italic, underline option that I have on the screen. I can keep the subheadings italic and main headings as bold and underline. Let's say total cost is my subheading so I am keeping it bold and italic and keeping the operating, operating expenses bold and underline. I'm keeping the last three entries as bold and the last line that is the net in, net income as bold, italic and underline. And now click OK. Next is to select a column layout based on which report will be displayed. I have already created two default column layouts. One is the quarter and one is the month. Here is the month and here is the quarter. Let's check how they are created. For four quarters, I have defined four different column headers here and for each quarter, I have to define a comparison period formula. For quarter one, it is F513, for two, it's 46, for three, it's 79, and for four, it's 1012. Similarly, I have created a month-wise layout, which is from January to December. And starting from January, it will be FY1, continuing to FY12, that is the December. 
I am selecting quarter as the default column layout for this report. Now I'm now I'll go and run that report that is that is the account schedule report for that I'll type account schedule in the navigation bar and select the profit loss that I just created providing the date filter here and I can provide various filters such as cost budget filter business unit filter and global dimension filter which is in this case is department and project you can select various settings from here depending on which the report will be previewed now click preview when I click preview now we can see that the report that is the income and statement accounts that I have selected are now displayed here based on different quarters that is quarter 1 to quarter 4 if I want to display profit on the report I can simply go to the account schedule and add a formula to calculate it at the end of the lines add description as profit and select the totaling type as formula for profit let's say I add total revenue and total cost so I have the row numbers here I can put these row numbers in the totaling field and just add them and click OK to save again on running the report I can see the profit field is now added which shows the total revenue plus total cost Similarly, I quickly create the balance sheet schedule report. So for that, I quickly create a balance sheet uh, column layout and balance sheet account schedule. Select the default column layout as month so that my balance sheet displays as month wise report. Enter the first description as the balance sheet and quickly select the insert GL account option for the balance sheet report I will select the balance sheet accounts only starting from assets because balance sheet I have already uh, provided in the lines similarly as the income statement that is profit and loss I have selected the end totals here also I will select the end totals heading and begin totals if they are required in the balance sheet report we include assets and liabilities and equities if they are associated in the chart of accounts For the balance sheet report, I just need to select the balance sheets only. So uh, I have selected income statement, so I have to remove those. Removing the income statement because income statement is not included in balance sheets. Now click OK and select the display settings such as headings are bold, subheadings are bold, italic and the total accounts should be bold, italic and underlined so that they are, displays, they are displayed in the report as per we have selected the settings here
klik OK. Again, I run the report. This time, I will select balance sheet as the column, balance sheet as the account schedule name, and the column layout comes as month because I have selected it. Now, click preview. After running the report, I can now see that the balance sheet report is divided based on months, that is from January to December for the period that I have selected from 1st of January 2016 to 1st of January 2017. We can also run the report based on quarters that we have created for income statement. Let's see how it works. Here is the quarter wise view of balance sheet report. If I want to add more sub accounts within a begin total account, I can edit the account schedule to include those lines. Let's say adding the vehicles and increases during the year. So I can select it from insert chill account and select the sub accounts and click OK. Again, when I run the report, that new account that I just added will appear. Here are the accounts that is vehicle and increases during the year. In this video, I have shown how to create account schedules for profit and loss and balance sheet reports, how to create a column layout, designing column layout for example quarters and months, running the report based on different requirements. Thanks for watching this video. For more information please visit www.paraguide.com.